Did you know that in Britain today, one in three people will develop some form of cancer during their lifetime? In fact, every two minutes, a person is diagnosed with cancer. Every three minutes, a person is diagnosed with diabetes. And every five minutes, a person suffers a heart attack. Britain is the number one most obese country in Europe and number three in the world. Unfortunately, the problem is expected to get worse unless we take control. These are some of the lifestyle-related diseases on the increase in today's society. Obesity, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, high cholesterol, and digestive problems. Some of these diseases are hereditary, but more and more can be attributed to lifestyle. One of the main contributing factors is our diet, hence the expression, you are what you eat. Doctors tell us that what you eat and how you prepare your food can affect how we look, how we feel, and how long we live for. The phrase, you are what you eat, is absolutely true. Our bodies are made out of the foods that we eat. From the very start, our brains are constructed from the omega-3 fatty acids that we get from our mother. From the very start, our bones are constructed from the calcium and the other minerals that we get from our mother. We need nutrients from the very start to physically build our bodies. It's not just the physical building of our bodies that happens through nutrients, but obviously the day-to-day -day maintenance and repair and function and interaction between all the different body cells and how they communicate, all of that is totally dependent on your diet. The diet should almost exclusively be formed of naturally occurring products that are not processed, low in salt, low in hydrogenated oils and trans fatty acids and importantly low in saturated fat. We have busy lifestyles and we often tend to overlook the components of things that we eat. We should look rather than using the term of a diet to dietary modification or dietary strategies where there is a change in the overall relationship with food, how the individual eats on a regular basis and much more particular care when choosing foodstuffs. Really look at how you prepare that food, how you cook that food, and use everything that you have within your control to make sure that what you're eating isn't just delicious, isn't just gonna satisfy those senses of having beautiful colors, which is gonna encourage us into variety, having wonderful smells, which is gonna encourage us into having things at their peak ripeness, having things that look fantastic, which is going to appealing, but also foods that carry all the nutrients that we need to be well and to thrive in the modern world. And then it comes to preparing our food, and here it can often go wrong. So for instance, our root vegetables, the vegetables that grow under the ground, we generally peel the skin. And a lot of the nutrients, almost 50% of the nutrients, will lie just under the skin. Then have a look at how you're actually preparing that food. Are you preparing it far in advance, or are you preparing it just before you're cooking it? And how we cook our food is probably one of the most neglected parts of the whole food chain because we tend to heat blast it, we tend to cook in a lot of the ways that are going to destroy the last nutrients left in our food. So I am talking about fruits and vegetables here because it is such an important part of our diet. They carry vitamins, minerals, age-defying antioxidants, fibre to keep the digestive system healthy. They have so many valuable and vital properties. And we firstly cook them in water, and water is going to leach out many of the nutrients because so many of the vitamins in our food are water soluble and the water soluble vitamins will be leached out when you boil something in water. Even steaming has its problems because steaming really is a cooking method which is supposed to be done quite quickly but it's still a wet cooking method so you're still having steam, you're still having water in contact with the vegetables and if you're cooking them for a long time rather than just getting the, the very hardness out and making them more digestible and if you can see colour in the water when you've boiled vegetables or if you can see colour in the water when you steam them then the chances are you've lost quite a few water soluble nutrients because a lot of the nutrients are coloured and some cooking methods not only use water but they use an awful lot of heat so if we're not boiling we tend to be frying or baking or roasting and those cooking methods are done at really high temperatures so when we're cooking we really need to look at how we're cooking whether we're using water leaching the nutrients whether we're using heat blasting out quite of the nutrients and in particular when we're cooking with fat. 
fats that we really need to look at avoiding are too many saturated fats, and the ones we absolutely need to avoid are the hydrogenated fats and the trans fatty acids, and these are the product, products of processing, either by chemically altering the fats, flooding through hydrogen ions, or by heating um, to quite high temperatures. Heating will destroy the beneficial properties of fats and turn fats into something else. It's always a question that we get asked all the time as nutritionists, what should I cook in? Which fat should I use to heat? Because the only fats that are safe and stable to heat are the saturated fats. But the saturated fats are what we classify as the bad fats. These are the fats that clog up the cell membranes, they cause inflammation within the body, they can get clogged up in the cardiovascular system, leading to heart problems and cardiovascular disorders. And in terms of the inflammation aspect of these fats, almost every disease has a root in inflammation, certainly every disease which is associated with ageing. And although we're living longer, we want to live well, and the statistics are not showing that we're living longer, but we're living sick and with degenerative disease and pain. So what Salamaster did, they took what the doctors, dietitians and nutritionalists said and designed a specialist nutritional cooking system to combat these enemies to nutrition. We cook with no water, no oils and no fats, all in an airtight container at 86 degrees centigrade. Now the reason we use 86 degrees is because this is the necessary temperature to kill most of the bad bacteria but keep most of the nutrition in the food. Tests conducted by the University of Wisconsin Food and Science Department at the Hazelton Laboratory found that cooking broccoli, potatoes and carrots with Salamaster retained on average 93% nutrition. What makes Salamaster so special is the use of titanium 316Ti stainless steel on the inside and that gives us a pure, clean and safe material which allows us to cook with no water, no oils or fats ensuring the maximum nutrition is retained for our families. The Titanium 316Ti allows us to put a chicken in and fry it in its own natural oils or cook a carrot in its own natural juices keeping the nutrients in the food. Salamaster provides the maximum resistance to chemical reactions with the salts, acids and alkalis in the food. This ensures the food served for your family is pure, clean and safe and has not reacted with the cookware. The middle layer is a very efficient heat conducting core which provides even heat distribution and the outside layer is a specialist series 400 stainless steel which reflects heat and means the cell mass is compatible with the latest induction hubs. This combination of metal means the cell master uses as much as 70% less energy. It's simple and easy to use. All you do is put your food in the Salamaster on any type of cooking surface, be it gas, electric or induction, set it to a medium to medium low heat. When the food reaches approximately 86 degrees centigrade, the Salamaster audio vapor valve will start to click and all you have to do is turn the hob down to the lowest point on the cooker. At this point, the air inside shrinks and the natural moisture from the food forms a semi-vapor seal around the lid, keeping the food in an airtight container and locking in the nutritional goodness. So all you have to do is put your food on medium heat, wait for the audio valve to click and then turn it down to low. It's simple and easy to use. No pot watching, no staring, no smells, no slave to the kitchen, just simply medium click low. Salad Master is also a world leader in the food preparation industry and has won by popular vote the Reader's Choice Award in two distinguished categories, Best Cookware and Best Kitchen Gadget. Salad Master isn't just a specialist nutritional cooking system, it's a personal health chef for you and your family 24-7.